I'm now in Radik Bosk and my goal is to take the world's longest train ride and go to Moscow. This is my ticket. We are starting with economy class and then we are going to upgrade into the middle class and then business class. This is my seat and I have this guy next to me. First step, let's make my bed. I think I woke up the guy next to me. <laughs> we have a huge problem here in Russia. My cards are not working here because Russia banned them. So I have no money and there is no food or water for me. The guy next to me was not mad that I woke him up and we quickly became friends. So happy. I love you. I love you, Uzbekistan. We're going to translate his voice from Russia to English. And let's see what they're going to be saying. He's curious about my ear cut. Yeah. Yes, put the ear cuts. Now we'll play him a song. I will give it to him later as a present, but I will not tell him now. We only used body language to communicate, and to be honest, I think it worked. I met another guy from Uzbekistan while the train was at a stop, but he was a bit weird because he was filming me all the time. Woohoo! But even though he was weird, he had a great idea to use Google Translate to communicate. When are you going to Uzbekistan? In the next five years. <laughs> if you go, I will find you. It's 1 a.m. in the night and he's still recording me. I don't know why he's recording me. It's a bit creepy, but who cares? I think he's showing up to his friends that he is friends with a YouTuber. He's still recording me, it's amazing. We have a stop for 40 minutes. He's filming me again, guys. Look at this, this guy. So because he was recording me all this time, I decided to give him my camera to record. So now he's recording me. <laughs> this is our train in the back. He bought us some nuts to eat. He's the weirdest person I ever met in my life. I don't know, he likes me so much, it's very weird. I don't have a lot of space. 2 a.m. now and there is a lot of chaos happening next to me. Cool. What? They asked me to close the light, so I guess we're saying good night now. Good morning. <laughs> Look what wakes me up. Time for breakfast. They gave me free food, so we're going to see the meal all together. To be honest, the food tasted bad, but I was just grateful that they even shared with me. After eating, I decided to explore the train and I found some crazy people. I love Russian people, they are the best. Russia, man, love, Russia. <laughs> vodka. Russian vodka. Russian vodka. Russian vodka. Hey! Ah! Strong! Me? Two, three. What's three? You? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Good. You? Twenty-three. Four, no, four. Four. Yes. Over. Brother, it's twenty-three. Wow. Just a boy. But after a while, they got too drunk and they started to bully me. All here filming me. I think they are also making fun of me, to be honest. It's only fun for I ah, thought they are my fun. friends. They were almost starting a fight with me, but someone came to the rescue. So the grandmother came and said to them to stop making fun of me. Now they are leaving. After being saved by the grandma, the train made a quick stop for the passengers to get some food. As you saw, I have no money. He bought me something, I don't know why, let's see. Uh, oh, banana! <laughs> good, good. So I'm literally depending on the kindness of strangers to survive. And so far, they've been very generous. Banana. We're having so much fun in the economic class. I think the middle class and the business class will be boring later, but let's, oh my God, the train is leaving. Russian people have the Christian Orthodox religion. And this is the religion that I grew up as well. So I feel a bit closer. To them, people are preparing to sleep. I'm next to my favorite person, the train, the grandma. <laughs> I 
just woke up, it's day 3, 6 a.m. and I'm just here relaxing in this train i had the best sleep of my life i'm not gonna lie on day three the grandma that was playing guitar invited me to play music for me she's offering this patiba food ladies and gentlemen she's the sweetest person in the world i love her this is the best day of my life I spent the whole third day with this grandma and created awesome memories that I will never forget. And now on day four, it's time to go to the middle class and experience some true comfort. But before that, enjoy your ear pods. Thank you very much. Bye bye. bye, -bye. So I said goodbye to my friends and I have my videographer filming. <laughs> he loves following me around, but he doesn't want to be in the camera. And now we're going to the middle class. I'm seat 36. Hello, I am your neighbor, I think. I'm 36. Do you speak English? A little bit. A little Oh, wow. These are the rooms and these are for four people. The room is very small. You came a lot of times in this train. Yeah, I came a lot. Do you like it? Mm, sometimes. Where are you going? I'm going to my home. How many days you're going to stay in this train? Uh, not days, it's uh, 15 hours. Me, I'm going to Moscow. <gasps> Moscow, all days? Like seven or eight days? It's a big trip. Good luck. This is my bed. I'm going to make it pretty. Time lapse. Done. In the middle class, we have a ladder, but the others, they don't have ladder. So it's easier to climb up and sleep. Any other difference? I don't know how to say that in English, but <laughs> in the cheaper class, they don't have it. Oh, I feel rich with this thing. <laughs> also, we have space up there. We have a door, which is very important. And we have a mirror, which is not super important. <laughs> let's see if this class will be better. I doubt it a bit, but let's see. Another good thing about this class is that there is free snacks. Finally, some food. I'm not so happy. I don't need to ask for food now. I spent the rest of the day eating free food and talking to my new friend. This is the night in middle class. All the doors are closed and it's fully quiet. How was your night? I had very good sleep. In the train, you have the best sleep ever. Are you going to miss this train? Yeah, it was kind of interesting for me. All my rides before rides were kind of boring. Uh, with you, it was really funny to do some content. Such a nice girl. My only friend in the economy class left. So I decided to go to the restaurant and see if I can make more friends. Ваш чувак маленький воришка, короче, еда как бы ходит без пределы, короче, ему все с рук сходит. I will translate this in English so you understood what he said. Beer, beer, beer. No. No. Как no? На визитку. No, 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 they gave me the bill and they are leaving, I have no money guys, they bought ice cream for me, Russian ice cream, oh my god, I love Russian people, we're going to do arm wrestling with this guy, let's see if, if Russian people are stronger than me. I think I'm going to be him. <laughs> he, he beat me. Russian people are stronger than me. Good job. After getting destroyed at arm wrestling, I went back to my room and I had a new neighbor. Kefir. I have no idea what she's saying, but she's very nice. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. Спасибо. So she gave me tea. Hello. Hello. She is acting like my mom. Mm, good. Oh wow, this is the best. <laughs> Things were going pretty smoothly up until this point. But suddenly one member of the train crew entered our room and she started shouting at me. 
Это все или еще что-то брал? Окей, okay, good. So they put here all the stuff that I stole and they are demanding from me to give them ASAP money or they are going to call the police. Now I understand why the guy said that I'm a little thief because all those chocolates and snacks I thought were free wasn't free. There is no way for me to give the money to them because they don't accept my banks from Europe and United States. So I don't know what to do. I was honestly worried because if she takes me off the train, the video that I'm filming will be a failure. She saw that they're trying to call the police and she decided to pay for my... Oh my God. Thank you so much. I love you. <laughs> Day six, time to go to business class. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> She's my Russian mother. Thank you, Spasipa, for everything. On my way to business class, I noticed that the train had a lot of soldiers going to Ukraine. So I made a separate podcast to share my thoughts about the topic. Link in the description. Oh, here we are. This is my place. ta -da! This is business class. Fun fact, this is my first business class that I've been in my whole life. We have water, Russian chocolate. Okay, this is not bad. The only difference is that there is no upper bed. We have lock as well. And we have a mirror as well. Mwah, I love you. We'll have this box. Let's see what you have inside. Oh my god! Toothbrush. We have this thing that we brush our hair and we have soap. Oh, is there is a shower? My God, it's been six days that I didn't have a shower. If there is a shower, this will be worth it 100%. Business class is three times more expensive than the middle class. Is it worth it? The good thing is that I have privacy here. After all this chaos of people all the time around me, it feels good to kind of close the door and stay alone for a second. One thing that you don't know about me guys probably is that I love spending time alone. When you are with other people, they just control your life. If they want to talk with you, they come and talk and you have to respond. So when you are alone, nobody can interrupt your life. By the way, I bought both of the seats here and I will invite one of my friends. The woman from middle class, she was so helpful to me. She paid for every meal that I have the last two days. She paid also for the stuff that I stole. She was amazing to me. So I think the least thing that I can do is to bring her here, to spend time with her. Ta-da! This? 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 Mine. Yes. <laughs> She's making fun of me because I purchased both of them. <laughs> Awkward moments aside, we still have a lot of fun in the business class. And like she said, we're only 24 hours away from Moscow. We just had dinner and she left. She treated me like her son and that made me remember how important and how much i love my mother the love of the mother for their child is probably the most powerful feeling in the world this is the last night of the train and now when i'm alone i can finally take my clothes off and stay with the boxers i couldn't be with my boxers when i was in the economy class and this is kind of a big plus and now is my last night in the train. In the morning, I had a meeting with a very special guy. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you. How are you? So okay? Very good. We are communicating with Google Translate here. And it takes so much time to speak together. <laughs> Russia is a very big country. <laughs> yes, Russia is very big. <laughs> Russia is the biggest country in the world. This is his son. Your Emir Muhammad Aziz. So now is I will ask him the big question. Later today, can you pay for me to have a shower? Yes. <laughs> yes. This is the shower of the train. It's not super, super luxurious, but it is what it is. Imagine being in a train for seven days and not having a shower. <laughs> Oh my god, amazing, brilliant. Oh my 
the shower feels so good. So good! After my shower, I did some meditation in my room. We got closer to Moscow, so I'm going to pack my things. I cannot describe you how happy I am this moment, guys. Like, my soul is full of happiness. I want to start a relationship with you guys, and I will do the first step. So I put a link in the description, fill out a form. You can fill your email and your WhatsApp number, and I have some surprises for you when you do that. You're going to be notified if I'm coming to your country. We are going to have some money prices as well it will be a way for us to connect outside youtube and also arrange some zoom calls together and all these things i'm taking the first step and now it's your turn to accept my invitation trust me you don't want to miss this it's time for me to leave this train and we arrived moscow nobody's excited like we just arrived we just arrived yes. Spasiba, bye bye. We finally arrived in Moscow. And now I'm in Moscow and I have no money to go to the airport. And it's time for the quote. The world is a book and those who do not travel read only one page. 